Which is the best estimating software? The answer is it depends. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be reviewing PlanSwift. PlanSwift is just a, a little uh, side note. This is what I use in my office. So my company is a construction estimating firm. So this is what we do every single day. And I've used a bunch of the different softwares and I figured out that this is the best for my company. I'm gonna give you a little secret. And some of these guys are gonna be like, why do you say that? The truth is that all estimating softwares, they're all pretty much the same. They give you linears, counts, and square footages. That's really the root of what you need. So in my office, we actually don't use any of the fancy plugins and extensions and things that all these softwares have. What we do is we do our base takeoffs, we bring it into my in-house program that we actually developed ourselves, and we do our pricing through there. So now what I wanna do is the purpose of this video is to kind of introduce you to PlanSwift, kind of give you a quick overview of what the, you know, what the buttons are, what you can do, and then you can choose for yourself if it's the best one. I think the pricing is somewhere like 1700 bucks, something like that, which a lot of people watching this are gonna go, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. But if you're gonna ramp up your business and you're really gonna estimate a lot, you need a professional estimating software. You can't just do like takeoffs by hand, or you can't just like, like Bluebeam is good, but like Bluebeam has a lot of, uh, it's more PDF editor and like it's a more of like a PDF program, not so much a, a, an estimating software, although they have a bunch of takeoff tools. But anyways, let's talk about PlanSwift. All right, so PlanSwift is a digital takeoff software. So what is a digital takeoff software? Back in the day, we would get the plans, well, I never did this, but I know that old school people used to do this. You would get the plans, you would take them, you would print them, you would take them to your office and you would use a highlighter and you would use your architectural scale and you would measure everything. Or they had this little tool, this little pen tool that you would trace everything and it was scaled. And they used to do all of their takeoffs like that. So you're literally taking off, like you're taking off the measurements. So PlanSwift is gonna, is gonna scale these drawings. So the architects are gonna give you the drawings and the engineers and all that in digital format, and usually in PDFs. And you're gonna scale the drawings so I can say, so this project is, let's see, where is the scale here? Right here, one eighth. So one eighth of an inch is equals one foot. So I can come over here and scale it. It's already scaled. And if I wanna start doing a takeoff of this wall, I'm gonna use my linear tool. So let's call it, for the sake of argument, exterior wall, right? So some of you guys that have never used the takeoff software, this is gonna blow your mind. Uh, others are evaluating. So this is basically the gist of PlanSwift. So then you can come over here and start tracing your walls. And, it's, and in like a few seconds, you're gonna see that our exterior wall, this little takeoff that I did is 82 feet, right? So now when I start compiling my numbers, I start doing the whole takeoff, it's gonna give me everything in one shot. I don't have to be sitting there with a, with a ruler and with my notepad or whatever. And it's a lot easier. Then the same thing, then we got the area tool. So if I wanna see, let's say we wanna measure this floor, the lobby and the breakfast area, I can come in here and just do a takeoff of all this square feet and I'm being real quick and not precise here. So I just, this is for illustration purposes. So this tells me that if I wanted to measure this area, we have 2,763 square feet, right? So if I'm doing flooring or maybe it's acoustical seatings or whatever it is, you're gonna use your area tool. Then we got the account tools. So this is useful for windows, doors, and anything that's just a count item. So let's say we wanted to count some windows. We got window, 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 here's a window, etc. Like obviously if I was doing this for real, we would break it down by like V1, W2 type windows, things like that. But I'm just, this again, illustrative purposes. So that's what we use, believe it or not, that's the base of PlanSwift. And what it does is at the end, when you're done with your estimate, you click on this little tab up here and you're gonna have all of your quantities. So what you can actually do is you click this little button on to export to Excel and it's gonna open up Excel and you can see it's starting to compile the whole list for you right here, boom. Right? And, and it, it kind of does it like as you go. So boom, now I have all my quantities here. So like if you don't have a software here, right? You can always do this and say, all right, this is gonna be X amount per foot, this boom, boom, boom. And you can start pricing it right here. You don't even need anything fancy. Like, like one of my biggest pet peeves, especially in my coaching program is don't let technology slow you down. If you're watching this, you probably know how to use computers pretty well. So uh, if not, you wouldn't be on YouTube researching PlanSwift reviews because then obviously. So like, for example, if I wanted to measure this footing and I know that this, that a typical footing is X amount per foot. I don't know, let's just make up a number. I'm gonna just use a round number, $1,000 per, per yard or per footing. And I wanna do equals this 
type this times this boom now i got my money my, my cost here and i can just do that that's like the, the the most basic way now we use our own in-house software that we developed for pricing it, it works for us and uh, we compile assemblies for all this like we wouldn't just do a footing like we would break it down by the linear feet of the rebar if there's you know how many cubic yards all that stuff so that's kind of how we would do it so that's the estimating tab now there's a bunch of features here like plugins like over here they have plugins where you can make templates and things like that uh, i don't really use them i don't think they're necessary if uh, and like i said if you're watching plants if you're looking up plant swift reviews it's probably gonna be a major learning curve to start using all these functionalities and all this crazy stuff. So I would start with the basics. I would start with the linear, the area, and the count tools. And by the way, if you wanna learn actually how to estimate in my uh, A-Figure Contractor Sales Academy, I have a module that has like, man, it has, must have like 30 or 40 videos that teaches you everything about estimating, how to do an assembly, how to price the jobs, how to figure out the cost on, of, of uh, like how to research prices of cost, how to create manual costs, how to find out prices when you don't know what the price is, stuff like that. So I cover everything in detail there. So if you're interested, I'm gonna put a link below so you can join that. It's a, right now, at the time of this recording, it's a 30 day free trial and then $97 a month after that. So literally you're gonna get like a master's degree of education on estimating and also how to get leads and how to estimate your project. So if that's something you're interested in, Go ahead and check that out. But anyways, so here you got your page. You can you can adjust your page. You can rotate your pages. You can do all this stuff. The tool um, here, if you if you want to, you know, you, if you're working with your pitch, you can figure out the pitches like by the elevations. Like if you have working with a house that has a pitch, you can do all that. Um, view. I don't really use any of these. It has a bunch of stuff. Again, I'm not trying to give you a full training. I'm just kind of giving you my review. Our estimating tab. Here you could build a bunch of assemblies and stuff like that. Uh, lists. Uh, never used this before templates here you can make your templates for all of your assemblies uh, and then there's plugins and settings and things like that so so my review what are what is my what are my two cents what is my uh, opinion here so my opinion is that for most construction companies purposes any estimating software is going to do the trick okay there's some that charge you per month there's some that charge you one time i like the fact that Tr plants with charges you one time and they have this like renewal maintenance thing that you don't really need they say you need it but you don't really need it um we're still using 10 version 10.2 I think they already have version 11 out. I don't care, it's the same thing. They don't really make that many up, updates to it, although they release updates. So um, in my opinion, for our use, one of the best softwares only because the organization, you have the search filter. So like if I wanna search for all my footings, I can come over here and boom, there's a great search filter, search feature. So this is great for quality control when I'm QCing or reviewing my estimates that my team does this is what we use if you're reviewing your teams or if you're like doing your own takeoff of of the quantities that maybe one of your if you're a senior estimator you're reviewing the quantities here you can do a quick references you have layers you can turn on and off the layers you know i could turn all this on i could turn it on off i could turn on if i want to just see you know these three footings i could turn them on so great is great features for when in terms of layers now comparing to some other softwares um like i said a lot of them have the same functionality so it all boils down to your price range and what you're looking for. I think this is one of the best ones. What are some cons of it? It's a little bit buggy. It crashes sometimes. It has a little bit of old school like XML technology. I don't know if I think that's old school. I'm not a programmer, but like a lot of times we have a couple of like technical glitches and things like that. But overall, this has been the estimating software that we use to do $100 million projects. I've done over every year, we do at least a billion dollars worth of estimating. So again, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna boast or anything, but the fact that we're doing a billion dollars every year in estimating, and we're literally using area, linear, and count, I think that qualifies me a little bit just to talk about the functionality of what you need to, to do estimating. So what would I recommend? I highly recommend PlanSwift. I'm not endorsed, I don't make commission, I don't have an affiliate link, none of that. So this is like straight up the truth, okay? And why am I saying that? Because this video is gonna add value to you. If you go get your own, like, go sign up for PlanSwift, go do the trial. They have a, I think it's like a 14 day trial or something like that. Go check it out. And you're gonna find that if you're a business owner, so now I'm talking to the business owners. If you are a contractor and you are a business owner, you should not be estimating. That is one of my, things that I'm like very adamant about. You should be out there running your business, meeting clients, doing the sales and the PR, and somebody else should be estimating. So 
you should be getting this software hopefully for one of your estimators or if you need help estimating, that's what we're here for. That's exactly what we do. Estimating is the most time consuming thing in a construction business. So at the end of the day, try to outsource this or try to offload that. Don't do it yourself if you're a business owner. That's just one of my two cents. All right, so if you need help with anything, I'm gonna put a link to my Contractor Sales Academy below. If you need training on estimating, you're gonna see it there. There we also have training on leads, on negotiating, on everything in regards to construction sales. So I highly recommend you check it out. There's a 30 day trial at the time of this recording. So unless uh, we might change it soon, who knows, but just go, go ahead and check it out before that happens. And uh, if you need help with anything else, estimating strategy, anything like that, click below and I'm gonna put another link so you can set up a strategy call. So, all right, I hope this helped. I know it was super basic. It was a super basic plan swift review, but um, go ahead and click that link below and I look forward to help you grow your construction business.